hello, hello. Welcome back to the dungeon that is hang on. <laughs> so, I don't know, is it better like this? I don't know. So today, today we are gonna have some fun with some brand new products. Super excited. I wanted to give you guys, uh, you know, I get this a request to do a glossy lid all the time and I'm surprised I've never really, really done a glossy lid in a minute. So I did this glossy lid with some amazing new things that I've used from uh, Kristen Dominique's Latte Palette to Dose of Colors, um, a bunch of new exciting products. So I'm really excited for you guys to relax with me, you know, have a drink, have a drink with Henry and Hank. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first thing, the first thing we must do to get this tutorial started off right is make yourself a drink. <laughs> I mean, if you don't drink liquor, you can get yourself some water with a splash of ice. Um, but I do. So I got me a Red Bull with Espelon tequila. You know, this helps keep the blood flowing. The creativity juice is just going. <laughs> don't hate on me. Okay, so there's a lot of products that I'm really excited to use. Um, I got the new Dose of Colors lip glosses. I got Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. I've been loving Patrick Star's collaboration with MAC. Um, I am. I got also some new colors from the Hank and Henry beauty line by some guy. I don't know who he is. He's kind of cute though, right? <laughs> um, and also, so let's just get into it because I, I have like a whole bunch of stuff in here that I haven't really used, so I'm excited to start using it. So first thing we got to do is prep this mug. M to the U to the G. <laughs> I have been using this Glam Glow Water Burst. I'm going to be honest, I've never been like a very glam glow person. I've been on their PR list for a minute, but I've never been really excited about anything. And I wasn't a fan of their glitter mask. That shit burnt my face. So, um, but this product right here, this Water Burst Hydrating Glow Moisturizer is uh, amazing. And it smells, I don't know what it smells like, but I want to put my tongue in it. I can't it. I'm going to use that this as my lotion, but before I put that on, I'm going to use the Forsali Unicorn Essence, which I I really like the way it feels on my on my face. And you know what? You can never have too much antioxidants. Get your life right. Antioxidant to yourself. <laughs> I'm just going to go and blend this um, this is all this sponge is also from LC Cosmetics. It's one of their new sponges. I really like it. It's really good to use wet too. Right now it's dry, but if you use it wet, it's bomb. And then I'm gonna use the Glam Glow. And I'm just gonna put it all over with this NYX brush. This brush doesn't have a name. I oh, know it got a, it got a it got a weird little thing like this. I don't know what the hell. I think it came out with their water drop foundation. I really, really like the brush though. So the first thing I'm going to start off with now that we're starting our makeup is my eyebrows. So my eyebrows, I actually over a plucked, tweezed. Oh yeah. You pluck a chicken, you tweeze a brow. That's, that's a, why do people always get mad? People always get mad. Like I got to pluck my brows. It's not pluck. It's tweeze. Shut the, don't be trying to correct me, bitch. <laughs> Gonna learn today. You know what I realized too, side note, um, so my whole life, everyone's always told me, they're like, Henry, you got a wonky eye. Because like one of my eyes, as like it gets a little bit bigger, like see that one? Right? They're like, hey. So I always tell people, I'm like, yeah, because one of my eyes is Hank and the other one's Henry. Because one of my eyes is really chill, just like, oh, you know how's the weather today? Oh, you know the stock market? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other eye is just like, hey, somebody asked? I'm not here. Why? Hi. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm going to be using Benefit Cabral. I've been using this a lot lately and I love it to death. So it's, I don't really like the brush that's with it, but the formula of the gel is really, really amazing. So I'm just going to use a little angled brush. This is from Eli Maya. Um, so I did tweeze my brows a little bit thinner just because I wanted to be able to draw them a little bit higher. 
I really, really like this formula. It's really easy just to go and shape your brow. And this is shade four, which I think is a really good shade um, for most brow tones. Yes, come on, brow. How you doing, brow? Okay, so we shaped and filled in our brows. The next thing I'm going to do is use this from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is granite. So this is a brow gel. And it's really just going to help shape the brows and add a little bit of color. If I want to lighten my brow, sometimes I'll use caramel. Or from MAC, I'll use boy girl or girl boy. I mean, it's like a golden color. But I'm not trying to do that for this look. So this is just going to add a little tint of color but shape the brows before I throw on some concealer to really, really define those brows because my brows need to be extra, just like my life and personality. So for my brows, I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer, which is my go-to for concealer. This formula is really, really thick, so make sure that when you use it, you use it sparingly. So after I shape my brows, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take this concealer and I'm going to bring it down. So the look that we're creating today is going to be a glossy lid. I do these uh, looks a lot on Instagram and um, they've I've always gotten a lot of positive feedback from them. So I'm really excited to do this look, but I don't really use eyeshadow bases be whenever I use this cream base. Um, this cream concealer just because it's such an amazing base. I have really dry eyelids, so any kind of cream usually just sticks on. And because of that, the eyeshadow always tends to stick on as well. So because this concealer is really thick, I don't ever really find the need to have to use a base. But so, so I'm not using one here in case you're asking. I'm really excited to actually use this. I got this. So if you guys don't know, Kristen Dominique launched her own cosmetics line called Dominique Cosmetics. And I got to go to the launch party for her palette, which is the Latte palette. First of all, I love her so much. And I was really excited, one, for her that she launched her own line. I just think she's a special human being. I love her so much. But I was really, really, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I've been doing product development for other brands. The formula on this, the formula on this palette, it's so smooth and buttery. It feels amazing. So I'm so excited. So we're gonna use this. Okay, so I'm excited to use this. So we're gonna do a glossy lid look today. So this is gonna be the base. I'm So I'm gonna, and I really like this cut. I feel like anybody can use this, which is really awesome. But I haven't touched it. So when I was at the event, I was like swatching all crazy. I was like, ah, I fucking love coffee. <laughs> so the first color I'm gonna use is caramel, which is this color right here. And it's a really, really soft color. So I'm going to throw this all over my lid as like a, almost like a transition color. After that, I'm going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to take the color hazelnut. So whenever I'm doing any kind of halo look, I always know that I'm going to, that there's going to be applying, reapplying, just because buffing it out does bring some of the color down. And then I'm going to take mocha, which is this dark brown, and throw that on top of it. Oh. 
Okay, so after that, now I'm going to use this color and it's called Macchiato. And this is more of a metallic shade, but the pigment on this is amazing. I <laughs> Oh my God, I love this. So I'm not done with this palette yet. After I um, go in and put on my lashes and let's say uh, do the bottom and throw it in, I will go and actually add more color in to make the look a little bit more elongated and a little bit more full. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put on some lashes. One of my friends told me about this lash curler from a brand called Surratt, S-U-R-R-A-T-T. -T. These lashes, this lash curler is amazing. Um, I always have problem with lash curlers that they don't curl my fucking lashes. Literally, they'll go So this has been amazing because this, this really curls them and the curl for some reason like holds. I'm like, what the hell? So the next thing I'm gonna use is the Colossal Big Shot mascara in collaboration with makeup Shayla. I love this mascara. I use it all the time. I like the formula because it's creamy, not too creamy and not too dry. A lot of mascaras tend to get really ashy on me. This doesn't. It's black. Black like that booty haul. Okay, so before I put on lashes, I like to go and I'm actually gonna use this dark, the, the mocha color. Um, I don't tend to use eyeliner all the time, but I want to at least look like I have somewhat of a liner inside so that I can put my lashes on and you don't see where the glue is, where the lash begins and the skin ends. So I'm gonna take an angled brush. I'm actually gonna go in with a black eyeshadow. So this is the black eyeshadow from my Al Jefe, my Alter Ego Eye Kit from Hank and Henry Beauty. So this is Chingona. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna use is a pair of my favorite lashes. I use them all the time. Usually I use them double stacked, but uh, those lashes had, I wore those lashes like at least 36 times, 36 times, and they finally just lived their last days. They're double stacked Bala lashes from Naboonsum. And so I got a new pair of them. So these are just regular, non-double stacked Bella lashes from Naboonsum, which is my favorite lash, favorite lash company. And whenever I'm applying lashes, I literally just throw them right on top of the actual lash while I'm looking down. Some people use like tweezers and stuff, but like that actually is harder for me. The concealer that we use on the top, I'm gonna actually bring that down a little bit. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. And then I'm gonna get this mocha and mix it a little bit with the hazelnut. And just pack it on on the bottom. And then from the Hank and Henry Mile Tree Eagle Eye Kit, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna use that black again in Chingona and throw it on the waterline. Oh, and some mascara. So after I put on the mascara and the black on the bottom, I'm gonna go in. Cause if you can see, I applied a little bit more everywhere, but it's not blended. So now I'm gonna go with a, a small blending brush. This is from Violet Voss. And I'm just gonna go and just blend everything a little bit more. It doesn't look so harsh. Oh, I love that. Okay, so now for the glossy part. So I love a glossy lid. And there's only a couple of brands that I know that I can use their glosses, like their lip glosses, and it won't crease up on me. Girl Lactic and Dosa Colors, both like Do Girl Lactic's clear gloss and Dosa Colors over the top gloss that they did with Katie and Desi. 
it has a is a really good formula for that over the top gloss on the lid and of course the hank and henry beauty gloss but that's not out yet i wonder if by the time this video out if it'll be out or not maybe i don't know so i'm literally just putting excess i was at first i was just putting it on like that but then it started to mix so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on and then pop it right on top of the lid and i've worn this on the lid and gone out to an event and was there for like maybe five hours and it still looked really really nice Look at that gloss. <laughs> okay, so now that we did the eyes, the next thing I'm gonna do is my face. So I always like getting a wipe. Um, this wipe is from Sephora, the pomegranate cleansing wipes. These, these wipes are like $7.50 and they're bomb. So I'm just gonna go and clean up underneath my eyes. So now for concealer, I'm going to go back in with my favorite and very much trusted Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer. I'm going to throw this bad boy all around. And as you can see, as when I go under, I make it really like just a line because at the end I go and I buff it out after I set it with powder and all that good stuff. I usually just cover my uh, my heart tattoo and at the end I go and I clean it up for those asking. I'll use that same wipe, that Sephora wipe. So now that I have my crazy face, just now I'm going to do my foundation. I switch off a lot on foundations, which is probably good. I, I, I heard, I don't know if this is scientifically proven. I don't know if this is some science, <laughs> but it says you're not supposed to use the same foundation all the time. Cause then your face gets used to it but i'm like how does your face even know is your face like um that's that same shit you be using and your face what tells your brain and what and what happens then you start breaking out i don't really know i think that's just some bullshit to make you buy more foundations but i'm gonna be using a mac studio fix in nw22 with this b bella brush and there's no number on this so if you ask i don't know i got it like in a in a like a brush set that they had uh, sent me. And this brush was my, I like use this brush all the time. So when I apply the foundation, I wanna apply it all around. I don't want it to start mixing yet with the white that I have underneath. And then now you'll see, I'll start to go a little bit more in the center and start blending it in with that concealer. And it'll lighten up the foundation just a little bit too. Okay, so for contour, I love my cream contours, and this is Beautiful Bronze from LA Girl. This is old school right here. I've been using this color for forever, 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 and then I'm just gonna buff this out. So now that I did the contour, the next thing I'm gonna do is set this, and I'm gonna set this with the Patrick Star and MAC Collaboration Setting Powder, Patrick's Powder, and I'm gonna press this all into my skin. Oh, yes, I'm loving this. So now I'm going to go in with Hula Benefit Bronzer. Just to really carve out that cheekbone. Okay, so now for blush, this is an old school blush. I, I use I use it a lot, but I've loved it since I first started working at MAC and it is Style. And it, it's an orange tone with a little bit of a sheen to it. Uh, sometimes I don't wear blushes and I've noticed that when I don't wear blushes, sometimes my face will look a little bit more grayish. 
So I like just throwing a little bit, you know, throw some, throw some color on that mug. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm actually going to use one of my new Alter Ego Eye Kits. So this is called Petty in Pink. And it is a really beautiful pink luster light, which is a mix of pigment, pearl, and effects pigments. And so we're going to use Petty in Pink because this bitch is petty as fuck as a subtle highlight. So it just added a really beautiful like pink sheen all over it. I'm loving it. So, and if you go out into the light so you can actually see like, oh my God. So I'm going to contour my nose. I gotta start remembering. I Whenever I do lives, I always, my followers are always just like, contour your fucking nose. What the hell? <laughs> I'm all sorry, but I fucking forgot. Actually, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Artist Couture highlight in Slay Nolly. It's a really, really pretty, pretty gold, and I'm just gonna put it right at the tip of my nose. Okay, so now for the lips. So this brand is, um, it's relatively new. The name is Feral. The owners are so amazing. Um, I've got to meet them several times and I've actually got to have dinner with them and go out. You know, I took them out. We got to have fun time, you know. But I, they just sent me this new color. It's called Skin Tight and I love my nudes. So I'm going to be rocking this. And then on top of it, I'm going to be throwing Dosa Colors Gold, which is one of their new colors. So this is the color from Feral. This is skin tight. And then this is the color from Dose of Colors. And this is goals. So first things first, I'm gonna throw some uh, lip liner to even out my crooked ass lips. And I'm gonna be using Strip Down from MAC. So uh, one interesting thing too, is with my Alter Ego Eye Kits, I actually put in a well on the bottom so when we tooled these, we asked them to put a well on, a, on the bottom because as an artist, I always wipe everything on my hands. And then I forget because, you know, I'm a taran taran. So I literally will wipe my, and I always wear white. So then I will wipe makeup all over me all the time. So this is a perfect example why this well is, can come in handy. So I'm going to get the gloss and I'm going to put it all in here so I don't have to wipe it on my arm before I apply it. Because I want to apply it with a brush so that the color doesn't get into the actual container. So also, now that my face is set, the next thing I'm going to do, since we're, we're, we're getting close to the end, I'm going to take this caramel color from the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette, and I'm just gonna blend it underneath to help blend with uh, the little bit of the harsh line that's right there. You see, boom, took care of that. Bam. Also, now that the look is complete, one of the product, I've actually had this product for a while and I don't show it enough love because I actually use it all the time. And it is the Alcy. Like, you can even see that it's all messed up too. The Alcy Hydra Enhancer. This product is amazing. It's an alkaline facial mist, but I really, really like it as a setting spray. I use it all the time. This is actually like my third one. I like it so much that I went out of my way to buy it on my own, bitch. Even though they already sent me like two. <laughs> you know that's when you really like something. <laughs> when you could get it for free and you still go buy it. <laughs> So this is amazing. Really, really love it. Elsie and Lilith, Makeup by Lilith, you did a great job with this. So this is the completed look. The look is complete. Yes. 
<laughs> so I hope you guys like the look. I loved this look. I also got these like, okay, so if you live in Los Angeles, you know what the downtown Santee Alley streets are. That's where you get everything bootleg as fuck. <laughs> so I got these glasses and they're like five for 25. That's so wrong, right? But I got them. So I don't know. I like them, right? You, this, come on, education right here, baby. This is a little educational as fuck. <laughs> but I hope you guys like the look. I had so much fun creating it. I'm glad, as I always say, to be back on YouTube and back hanging out with you guys. And with any of my videos, I like to end off with a little bit of a message to my night owls, who I love so freaking much. Um, but first and foremost, make sure if you have any suggestions, you leave them down in the comment box so I can know what kind of looks you guys want from me. Um, but with that being said, my message to my night owls today is compliments. Give a stranger a compliment. Compliment people. I literally, I, I was on a, a Uber ride and I was literally, I, I remember... I touched the person in the front and I was just like, I just got to tell you, you have such a good energy. And it was that little compliment that she turned around. She was just like, oh my God, I needed that today. Like, she's like, I don't know why that like affected me, but I really needed that today. And so give, give a compliment to a stranger, to somebody, you know, just give a compliment. You have no idea what's going on in their life. And a compliment can just literally put somebody in the right kind of state of mind and help them out so you know with that being said i can't wait to see you guys and until next time bye bye <laughs>